Well, the Rose Parade is a New Year's Day tradition, but like so many things this year, it'll be a virtual celebration instead of an in-person parade. In this morning's Rebound Green Country, the show will go on, and in the center of it all, three Oklahomans will be honored. A really good day is when we can save as many lives as possible. Lucy Pham is an Oklahoma frontline worker who will be in the national spotlight New Year's Day. It was a huge honor. Pham works for Life Share of Oklahoma, an organ and tissue transplant nonprofit. She's just an absolute um, champion for our donor families, an incredible professional, very caring and loving person who really connects with her team, with the donors, um, and she's made countless transplants possible in her years at LifeShare. Pham's picture will be featured as one of six healthcare heroes on the Donate Life float in the Tournament of Roses broadcast. The floral sculpture, as seen in these behind-the-scenes pictures, is true to Rose Parade roots. It will be made of all natural materials, a vibrant honeycomb with bees flying around it. The message? We are stronger when we work together as a community. And so for the portraits or the florographs, what they do is they take a picture and they etch it onto the wood and then they go back and with coffee grounds, ground up leaves and flower petals and different things, they paint the picture. You'll see florographs of 27 donor heroes in all, including Oklahoma organ donors, Marie Mina and Colby Crum. Earlier this year, Crum and his cross-country teammates were struck by a speeding vehicle in a school zone. He was one of three who lost their lives in that tragic accident. Crum joined the organ donor registry just months before. Mania, a Star University of Oklahoma softball player, died in a motorcycle accident. Her family lives in California and will be able to see the life share float in person. Despite the pandemic, LifeShare of Oklahoma has received record donations this year, with more than 500 lives saved and nearly 60,000 tissue donations. I think it goes back to Oklahoma Strong that at a time where our community is in crisis, we tend to bond together and, and rally to support each other. And now the national community celebrating FAM an Oklahoman serving others. But it's an enormous feeling um, when someone who didn't think that they were going to have tomorrow has a lot of tomorrows. One way to become an organ donor is to check that box when you renew your driver's license, but you can also do it easily online through LifeShare of Oklahoma. We've added a link with more information on our website, kgrh.com. And be sure to watch for the Donate Life float during the Rose Parade special tomorrow morning, starting right here at 11 o'clock, right here on Two Works For You.